Sam, what we have here is a beautifully restored 69 Camaro RS SS. That's inspiring, and it's a beautiful car right down to the houndstooth interior. Over here, we've got another 69 Camaro, but, you know, this one needs a little work. Well, this is pretty representative of what you find around. It's a 30-year-old car, got rust coming through it, been beat up. It's time for a restoration on that one. That's right. Now, believe it or not, this car started out looking an awful lot like that car. All these old cars, when you're restoring them, you're going to be dealing with rust. Now, if you're lucky and you don't have a big rust problem, you're a hotshot welder like Sam here, right. you might be able to cut out a small patch, tack it back in, and get away with it. Well, that works in some cases, but, you know, the whole car is over 30 years old. And remember, that panel is going to have holes all over it. It'll really tell the tale about its age. That's right. If you want to do your restoration right, you're going to, going to want to use complete body panel replacements. That's right. And if you're lucky enough to be restoring a car that somebody makes replacement panels for and they're high quality, that's the only way to fly. Sure is. Now, Classic Industries is supplying quarter panels for these Camaros and a whole lot of other GM cars. These are OER complete quarter panels, and they're exact reproductions of the the original GM panels, right down to the last detail. Now this is an example of the rear quarter for a 69 Camaro like we've got here. It's got everything it's supposed to have. In the critical door jam area, you've got the cutout for the louver vents. You've even got the striker cutout there. Back here, in the, in the trunk gutter area, it's exactly like came from the factory. Seems all in the right place, right down to the trunk lid bumper. Now all these panels, in fact, extend to the correct factory seams. And Sam, why is that important? Well, Dennis, it's critical for ease of installation. Now, just like Dennis pointed out, you know, this replacement quarter panel comes all the way in here. Now, look, pull this back. You can see right here, this is spot weld. This is where the original factory quarter panel is spot welded on. If it was any shorter or any different, you'd have extra work that you're dealing with to make another seam. Also, look right here, and you can see it's rusty. That's a small area. That could be cut out and patched, but you never know what's behind there. And as you start to dig, it'll get bigger. Now, if you look right here, on this replacement quarter panel, this is what they call the sail area. Okay, and of course on a convertible it would be different, but this is for the coupe. And you can see this flange here. Well, if you look at the car, right here you can see some bubbling. There's rust all the way up here. This bubbling is where there's some body filler on here. The quarter panel and the roof panel come together right here from the factory. So they allow you a panel up there with a flange on it. You cut this out, you lay your replacement quarter in, the roof panel comes over, gives you a great place to weld. If you're going to MIG weld it, which most people do, try not to weld all the way across at one time. You generate too much heat, you warp panels. Once you get it in place and you know where it's going to be, you, you tack it, then just stitch it a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there, let it cool. You can repeat that till you get your weld complete. Now again, another place these things rust out is around the windows and on this seam, and of course, the replacement panel comes right here. You've got the, the rain gutter for the trunk, just like Dennis pointed out. It's got a place for the glass to lay in has the accurate shelf right here for the rear glass and of course there's rust down here and somebody fixed it alright they fixed it with uh, plastic body filler nice job except it didn't last that's pretty typical bubbles off but right here of course you got a side marker light and this side marker light has an opening if it's applicable the panel you water will have that opening in it now you look around here where a quarter wraps around in this panel it's spot welded you see here on the replacement panel you can see right here it's got the flange now that's also spot welded just like the front what you do is you buy one of those little spot weld cutters. It looks like a little hole saw. You can get right in there, cut all those spot welds, and you can remove the old quarter panel. Put the new one in place. If you line it up right, it's going to fit like a glove because Classic Industries panels are exact re replicas or reproductions, and they're licensed by GM. Well, we showed you how to fix up the outside of the 69 Camaro, but you know, Classic Industries has everything else you need for your restoration, inside, outside, even under the hood. Absolutely. Their catalogs are just loaded with parts, decals, tools, everything for your restoration. So if you want to learn more about body panel replacement or anything else we've talked about today, log on to MyClassicCar.com. And as always, if you're going to buy or sell anything online, log on to Hemmings.com. Sam, where would you start with a car like that?